Let's go! Joel Rogers makes it another defensive back commitment for LSU in the class of 2024. I need you to comment down below. Is this your number one DB for this crop? And today, I'm going to tell you what I want to see next from this class that is starting to turn out pretty daggum good. But just right off the jump here, Joel Rogers is a do-it-all, everything type of player. And this is actually LSU's second defensive back commitment that doubles as an offensive threat for his high school team. As you see, Joel Rogers played a lot, and I mean a lot, of quarterback. And obviously, a lot of this is just wildcat-ish kind of snaps. Let's just zone read it, get the football in his hands, and make something happen. And that is obviously really good. Um, there have been a lot of players that have doubled as a quarterback, but then went on to play a different position at LSU. But my favorite thing is, even though he is a quarterback, he's physical. One of his favorite things to do is just knock people out. And that is just something you just see throughout this tape, okay? Every single tackle is a painful one. Bam! He is a headhunter, and he reminds you of an older school safety. He is looking to declete you almost every single time. Now, obviously at the next level, you won't be able to just clean everybody's clock every single time, but still, that type of physicality is something that you normally don't see from a guy who you also label as a quarterback. Now, this hit is just bang. Uh, just absolutely love it. Um, and I know a lot of you love that old school physical style. So yeah, you know, he just really pops off in terms of him as an overall football player. And that obviously is a really good thing. So um, one thing obviously is, is just transitioning to the next level, just focusing in on being the best defensive back you possibly can be. Boom! Looking at you. Yes, you. And if you love LSU content such as this one, Go on ahead, smash that subscribe button, and obviously join our Patreon. Links are down below. You get to see my full quarterback board, so make sure you check it out. And one thing that's very interesting about Joel Rogers, and before anyone flips out here, um, I, I, I think this is actually a good thing overall for the recruiting industry, is there are some services that really like him, and then there are some that just kind of view him as a three-star. So you're looking at the competing services here. On three, loves him. Um, but the other services, as you can see, it's a little bit of a, of a difference of opinion. I think that's a very good thing because, look, prospect evaluation is really hard. That's part of the reason why I, uh, I started the Patreon because – our patrons know my evaluations of players don't always align with 247 on three and whoever else, including a lot of LSU commitments in this last class. There are some that I'm like, God, how is this guy three star and this guy uh, a higher level four star? So look, it's always good to have difference of opinions. But for me, I actually like Joel Rogers. I really do. And the bottom line is at the defensive back position, you always need more, not less, for a few reasons. The first, obviously, is defensive backs give you a lot of value on every special team's unit outside of maybe field goal team. Um, so that's always a very good thing. And then, of course, um, as the game spreads out, you're always going to be in at least – five defensive back alignments. So, yeah, you know, it's one of those things where LSU's DB recruiting over the past couple years, yeah, you, you've missed out on, you know, some elite out-of-state guys, but it is good for this cycle of Louisiana players that there are a lot of really good four-star defensive backs in the state of Louisiana. So, um, as you can see, as this uh, this tape developed, you do see a few throws um, from Joel Rogers, but the likelihood that he plays offense at this point is small, right? So, he is going to be a defensive back, and that obviously is a very good thing. And look, the good thing about being a safety in particular is safety playing time going into next year is going to be up for grabs, right? Greg Brooks 
is going to be gone. Major Burns more than likely going to be gone as well. Andre Sam as well. And you're looking at all the safeties. Obviously, these aren't all the defensive backs. And we'll get to the other ones that are committed. But as you can see, this group has a lot of unproven players. So that's obviously a very good selling point. And one quick thing, I read a very good article from uh, Shay Dixon where Coach Kerry Cooks was specifically mentioned by Joel Rogers, um, and that was obviously his primary recruiter. So that's obviously really good thing, uh, a really good thing for Coach Cooks's confidence moving forward. So obviously the safety room is starting to shape out to look to be pretty daggum good. Now, as far as the state of Louisiana is concerned, this is a potential unprecedented thing that might happen in this class where LSU might land all top 10 of the prospects in the boot. And that obviously is a very good thing, especially to a lot of the Notre Damers out there that said Brian Kelly can't recruit. And I understand that a lot of you have seen uh, the Notre Dame trolling and the LSU trolling back towards Brian Kelly. The one thing that people totally missed about the Brian Kelly to LSU thing as far as the actual recruiting is concerned, one of the major reasons he came to LSU is because it is indeed easier to recruit one of the most fertile states and being the only Power 5 school in the most fertile state one of the most fertile states, uh, makes things a lot easier. So as you can see, there are some big fish out there uh, that LSU will still get after. And obviously, Dominic McKinley headlines that list. But I'm going to give you one very spicy player that I think has really started to uh, interest me, and that is Kobe Young, the wide receiver. Um, but we'll talk about him another day. But as of right now, once again, I want to, you guys to give me your best opinion down below. Who is the best defensive back commitment that LSU already has locked in? Um, I like all these guys, but I'm telling you, Deshaun McBride is going to be a really good player at LSU. He's a different type of player to me than Rodgers, but man, this safety class is looking pretty daggum good right now for the Tigers. Boom! I'm looking at you. Yes, you. So... We're actually going to do the end of this video very different than we do some other recruiting videos. We're actually going to break down one play in particular very closely. And this is just a little thing that I like to pick up. It's not the be-all, end-all when it comes to high school evaluations. But this right here can be applied to any level of football. Okay, so you saw this play at the beginning. This was the pick six by Rodgers. And... As you can see, he is not necessarily playing safety. He's playing more of a slot corner here versus this tight end. And obviously, this is an RPO read. This is something that LSU obviously did a lot of offensively, If um, not only in 2022, but 2021 as well. Um, if you see this pocket of space open up and everybody crash to the line of scrimmage, the quarterback is supposed to pull it and throw to this tight end. So this tight end doesn't run that um, great of a route, and this is just some really good football IQ right here by Rodgers, who already has inside leverage. He kind of baits this quarterback into making this throw. He sees the eyes of the quarterback, and he knows exactly where he's going. He recognizes that this is an RPO, and obviously, the tight end right here, any receiver will tell you this, you've just got to make sure that this guy doesn't undercut you at all. You should never take this side of the DB, and you obviously get an easy pick six right here. But this is why I really like watching this West Fish da, 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 Feliciana team on high, uh, on film is because they are such a well-coached team, all right? So before I show you this unbelievably high IQ play, I want to shout out West Feliciana. I've actually never visited the high school before, but their coaching staff, they deserve a lot of credit. They went undefeated, and uh, they lost in the state championship game. But the only one possession game that they had on the season was this one. So this pick six, as you could tell, was the difference in this game. All right? Now, one rule that has completely changed the world of college football is the blindside block rule. So back 
when I played and a lot of you guys when you played, um, you used to be able to just clean the clock of anybody on a block, but now the blind side block is eradicated. So once this pick six happens, obviously this is just a foot race that you think Joel Rogers is going to win. I want you to watch this young man right here. I believe this is number 39. You're looking at his name on the on 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 the screen. This guy made the game saving play right here because he has the opportunity here. And trust me, as a former defensive lineman, this was one of my favorite things to do. If the other team has an interception, you have all these offensive players running this way, you can blindside block them legally. But look at what this young man decides to do. Instead of doing something selfish and getting the big highlight reel hit, watch this, okay? This is just really good stuff. You see a lot of high schoolers not know this rule. He just kind of boxes them out, which is perfectly legal. Then he boxes out this next guy, and he trusts that his four-star athlete is going to beat him in a foot race. That right there, folks, is a huge Seven point play right there. And then you see him outrun them to go celebrate with his teammate. And something else I like to see from high school recruits how often do your teammates celebrate you? That lets me know that everybody in the locker room likes you. They want you to have success. And that's not always the case for elite recruits. Elite recruits sometimes think uh, they're the greatest thing on earth. So Obviously, I don't know Joel personally, um, but that's obviously always a good thing. So, shout out to the West Feliciana coach staff. That is some really good football IQ from that young man. Because, look, that pick six is eradicated off his his score sheet if you decide to get selfish and, and make that blindside block. That's some really good stuff. So, comment down below um, on today's video. Let me know if you guys think he's the best DB that LSU has committed. It is power. Our LSU, boom, boom, floating in your face right now. My Deshaun McBride video and another video. It'll be something. I know you'll like it. And tonight, we are doing lemon pepper chicken wings. Let's go.